Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Hello, and welcome back to our GTA 5 Let's Play. Yeah, well, uh... We're gonna meet him. The big uh, kahuna himself. Lester. Apparently this is my ride down here. Doc, hey. Michael, well, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Hey. Michael can see Dr. Uh, at that one. Okay, cool. Uh, for now, we are going to see uh, Lestat. Uh, How's it going? Okay. Go fuck yourself. Damn. Damn! I did not see that that truck it was just standing still there. Yeah, there's also those kinds of uh, traps. I don't know what the. Um I don't know what his uh, special is, if it is something with guns. I don't know. Okay, if I do something like this. Ah, yeah, it's, it's guns, alright. <laughs> Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. 
As for you, you got to figure that I never told anyone that instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something, just like the old days. <coughs> Damn. Okay. So we steal the cement truck? Yeah. Try to uh, to do the um, the special here in the car. Nothing happened. Nice arm wound there. Okay. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yeah, let's take this one. Cost the same. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. And cargo shorts, cargo shorts. Where are the cargo shorts? There you go. <laughs> yeah, right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Yeah, thanks. Bye now. I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Goddamn garbage truck burning its garbage all over the fucking garbage way. Oh my god.
Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are yeah. maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so. Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. And now we scan. There it goes. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> and that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, mines are gonna blow. Yes, they are. That's a <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, why is the uh, bag still there? I mean, he should have taken the bag with him. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bag, dig fast. Ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your air guitar? Oh, um, All right, follow me. Okay. Hi there. Yeah, well, I was just trying something. Apparently you can only walk here and not do any, much of anything. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing seas! Drowning mucus? How the heck is that even possible? Hey, what's up? Let me get the door for you. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Elvis has left the building. Hey, Michael. Hold on, hold on. Down! I down ya! Lester. The thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes. None of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life and a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, uh, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk.
Oh my god, you guys are so lame. Ow. No, I'm watching Fame or Shame. Oh, fucking tits. Give me up. <laughs> America loves you. You are in the final. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world, an average age of only 14.4 years. That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids. Oh, hold on a Thank second. You. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! God! Security. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, no, no. Whoa! <laughs> You're missing pass. Oh, there. Maggie can change... Uh, I'm gonna go up and change my clothes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Les, that was heavy. You watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Uh, it's to bring out tennis. I'm assuming I'm not getting good in time soon. Uh, so I need someone to play with. Uh, where my grip is getting loose, XX. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna wait. Michael, my money. Where is it? Do you uh, do you not want me to be? Uh, you fuck. Let's call him. I cannot come to the phone right now. Okay. You're right, yeah. Whoa, what the hell was that? We got a green one, Frankie, and we got uh, the blue one, Lester. Okay. Uh, which one should we take? Should we take? Uh, should we go with Frankie? Yeah, let's uh, let's head over, let's head down to Frankie's. Right. 
Bob. One more day and I'm a retired man. Porn and potato chips. Morning, noon, and night. I'm trapped! I can smell gas! Get me out of here! Use that bulldozer to move the pipes! And hurry, please! There stinks of gas in here! Hurry up! Move that bulldozer. We don't have long! Come on! Come on! Oh, God! I'm not gonna make it! Hurry, please! I smell burning! Get back! She's gonna go! Run! It's gonna blow! Thank you so much! I thought I was done for there! Ah, that's only M. Oh, yeah. Frankie's, uh, yeah, was uh, obscured by the green thing. The green bar of my health! It might be a good time to start making uh, some moves on the stock market. Here's a link to the market. Uh, buy low, sell high. Let's start. Okay. 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 Um, this one is going down. Average exchange. That one that would uh, skyrocket, that's a 9% right there. Uh, here. What's up there, my nigga? That, that doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to Lester's. Finally, now my bro is going to play GTA 5. So we got that long for him to play TJ5, but I decided, nah, I'm gonna... Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And 
now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work, and I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. High screw member of Ricky. Huh. What the heck this is all about? The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail, the Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was a... An Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, nah, he went quiet. <laughs> um, Migo Bellic. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable, and I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The shop's on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Townley. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Look what you did, asshole! Okay. Oh, we got a bind a gate for bring. Hey, nice. Oh shit. You got some of that? Okay, let's get this done. Hi. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. You? Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Glasses are live, shoot away. Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Uh, can you get me an air vent in one of the cameras? So, uh, that's the cameras and the alarm, and when you've got a shot of the vents, we're done. Great, you got the security camera and the ventilation in that shot. Good work, now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. The same my wife we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around. Think about it. Come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. 
Yes, honey, I will. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Suji gave me some extra breast milk from her pump. But Dara drank it by mistake. Hell yeah. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Hello! So, you keep up with the old crew? Now, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. I'm on the roof! All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Bury him. They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. If you take any longer, you're risking blowing this whole thing. What the hell? Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Well, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe him remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. An alarm system's linked to the door lock. Uh, we'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm, glass in the cabinets was bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait, Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm, one of them, at least. Okay, then. Cats? Here are the photos. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. Well, mapping out the options, I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. Okay. But making decisions. That is your domain, my friend. Here. And there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? 
If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. We can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LS. SPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. Mm -hmm. Alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the LS River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. Cool. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? This is where you come in, guys. This is going to be for next episode. Uh, you're going to pick loud or smart. That's your choices. So thank you all so very much for watching. I kept on the flip side.